nonprofit organization I Support the Girls is gathering over 1,000 letters urging the governor not to sign a bill that they say would ban period education for students in third through fifth grade. That legislation sitting on his desk right now. ABC 27's Kendall Brand talked with the founder of the group and other area advocates to understand the need locally for this kind of education. And Kendall, why does this group say that menstruation education is so important for these young students? Channing and Ava, founder of I Support the Girls, Dana Marlowe, says that teaching young women about their period before it happens will prepare them for the changes that their body is going to make. These Florida students in third, fourth, fifth grade need to be able to talk to their teachers. It might be the first time they have an understanding of what's happening to them. Perhaps it has, they, you know, their parents haven't explained it or their environment doesn't permit that kind of conversation. So that might be the safest place to get information about what's happening. Dana Marlowe's mission with her organization, I Support the Girls, is to prepare women for their menstrual cycles with pads, tampons, and education. And Marlowe worries a bill sitting on the governor's desk could take that important education away from Florida elementary school students. And it's a very unique time as students go through puberty. And so we wanted to let them know that the need to be able to just say period is so important. So we sent over a thousand letters from um, folks all over Florida uh, and other places. Letters urging the governor to not sign House Bill 1069, saying that period education would, quote, give all students the opportunity to learn and thrive without shame or stigma. That bill would limit discussion on sexuality and gender identity in grades K through 5. The bill's sponsor, Representative Stan McLean, said in March that this would apply to conversations about puberty. If little girls experience their menstrual cycle in fifth grade or fourth grade, will that prohibit conversations from them um, since they are in the grade lower than sixth grade? You recognize me. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, it would. Mary Deschler with the Oasis Center for Women and Girls says this education is essential. The importance of educating young women on their cycle could not be more timely of a discussion because women are getting their periods younger and younger. They call it precocious, precocious puberty and that is when young girls get their period at an earlier age than the typical age. With one in four teens in Tallahassee missing work or school because of a lack of access to menstrual products, Marlowe says taking away early education on periods will make that divide worse. Body autonomy and also understanding what's going on to one's body as it changes in during times of puberty is so important. I reached out to the bill's two sponsors today and have not received anything back from their office. However, if Governor DeSantis does sign this bill into law, it will go into effect July 1st. Live at the Capitol, Kendall Brandt, ABC 27.